guys, and today we're going to be reading Gerald McBoy Boy. Based on the Academy Award winning motion picture by Dr. Seuss. I really like this story and I think you guys will enjoy it too. It's really funny and I think it's a great story. Let's get on with the reading. Jerry McBoyboy. Jerry McBoyboy. Pictured by adapted by Mel Crawford. Random House, New York. This is the story of Gerald McCloy and the strange thing that happened to that little boy. Say it all started. They say it all started when Gerald was two. That's the age kids start talking. At least most of them, them do. Well, when he started talking, you know what he said. He didn't talk words. He went boing boing instead. What's that? cried his father, his face turning gray. That's a very odd thing for a young boy to say. And poor Daryl's father rushed to the phone and flicked out the number of Dr. Malone. Come over fast, the poor father pled. Our boy can't speak words. He goes boing boing instead. I see, said the doctor. It's just as you said. He doesn't speak words. He goes boing boing instead. I've no cure for this. I can't handle the case. And he packed up his pills and walked out of the place. Then months passed and Gerald got louder and louder. So one day he went boom like a big keg of powder. It was then that his father said, this is enough. He'll drive us both mad with this terrible stuff. A boy of his age shouldn't sound like a fool. He's got to learn words. We must send him to school. So Gerald marched off in open dent creature. Dependent creature. But he soon was back home with a note from the teacher. From public school 7 to Mrs. McCoy. Your little son Gerald has a most Gerald, a most hopeless boy. We cannot accept him, for we have a rule that pupils must not go cuckoo in our school. Your boy will go honk all his life. I'm afraid, sincerely yours, Fanny Schultz, teacher, first grade. When that little Jared grew older, he found, when a fellow goes bam, no one wants him around. My fellow goes shriek. He won't have any friends. For once he says, clang, 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 all the fun ends. Nay, nay, they all shouted. Your name's not McCloy. You're Gerald Mc, McBoing Boing, the noise making boy. Poor Gerald decided that he had no place at home in the school and the whole human race. And so he concluded that drear and forlorn, he would just disappear in the thick of a storm. But as he was boarding a slow moving street, a voice from the darkness called out, Stop, boy, wait! You Gerald McBoing Boy, the, the, the lad who makes squeaks? My boy, I have searched for you many long weeks. I can, I 
can make you most famous lad of the nation. For I own the boing boing the bong 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 radio station. I need a smart fellow to make all the sounds who can bark like a dog and bay like a like a hound. Your gong is terrific. Your two is in, in, inspired. Quick, come to bong bong bong, make boy, make boy your hired. Now his parents, proud parents, are able to boast that their Gerald's that, that their that their Gerald's clop clop bang is known coast coast to coast. Gerald is rich and has friends. He's well fed because he doesn't speak words. He goes boing boing instead. And that was the story of Gerald, of Gerald make boing boing. I hope you guys like that story. I really liked it. It is funny and I think it is pretty funny to read. So I hope you guys enjoy that story. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Anyways, peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys haven't, go check out our merch at carpentercountry.com. And we have a bunch of, a whole lot of pumpkins at carpenterquality.com. So go check that out, and so you all can make like pumpkin pie for if if you yeah and stuff. Pumpkin pie maybe for Christmas if you have pumpkin pie for Christmas or something. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and see you guys later. Bye.